Jose here. Um, I'm here to do a review of the Flip Manoa HD. Uh, I bought this hmm, a little less than a week ago. Um, I've played around with it a lot. I've had it in my bag ever since I bought it, basically. Well, let, I should rephrase that. I've had it in my bag ever since I did the unboxing for you guys, because if you watch the unboxing video, you know that I actually waited to unbox this for you guys. I waited to play with it so that I could show you the unboxing. There are a lot of pros and a lot of cons to this. What it basically boils down to is do your research before you buy, okay? There's a lot of great things about this. There's a lot of not so great things. And really, what's great and what's not really depends on what you need it for, okay? For me, it works, okay? I'm gonna go through some of the downsides of this that I found as a downside and that some other people find. I hate the small screen size, okay? It's, I think it's, maybe 1.5 inch, 1.4 inches, not even a one and a half inches. It's really, really, really tiny. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, that's how big it is. Look, here's my finger. Okay, <laughs> teeny tiny. <sighs> okay, not a fan of the, of, the, of the smallness of the screen, but that's what you get if you want a, short, a small, portable HD camcorder. So it's a price that I'm willing to pay. Um, the other downside of this is that, well, what some people may think is, is a downside is that it only holds four gigs of memory, which is about 60 minutes of HD video. For me, for what I'm doing, which I'm using this for YouTube and kind of everyday videos, um, it, an hour works for me. Okay, I'm not using this as a storage device. I'm not making blockbuster films with this thing. Um, it's my everyday camcorder. Some other downsides that some people may consider downsides is the battery life. Battery life is two hours. Now, if you take into consideration the fact that this thing only holds four gigs, which is an hour of video, a two hour battery life isn't bad, okay? Um, really, it, it, if you're filling this up with an hour's worth of video and you're transferring it from this to your computer, it charges through the USB. So even when you're transferring, it's charging that battery. So you really shouldn't ever have the problem of running out of um, running out of battery. But you know, it depends on your use. It depends on um, on what you're doing and all that. So again, you know, it's really user specific as far as what's going to work for you. Um, for me, it works. Some other downsides to this is it's really difficult to record yourself with this um, for two reasons. Number one, all the buttons on the back besides except for the record button are touch, touch sensitive. If you are trying to record yourself and you don't hit that record button, all of a sudden you're going to start hitting all of these other touch sensitive buttons and that's not, you're not going to, that's not going to be fun. You're first of all not going to be recording the, the film that you want to record. And second of all, you're probably going to be playing back other things and possibly deleting if you push too many buttons accidentally. Okay, and that's not to say that that always happens, but I did have that experience this um, just the other day where I didn't push the record button um, completely, and I ended up just replay doing a whole video talking at the at the camera, and actually just replaying a video on the other side like it wasn't recording at all. So something to keep in mind. The other downside of this um, is that if you want to record yourself, um, it's really difficult to hold it far away from you to pick up everything, okay? Um, it's definitely not a wide angle lens. If you want something like this that has a wide angle lens, I would recommend looking at the Creative Vado. Um, that has a wide angle lens, which is great. And I think all of these should have that. They don't. Um, so that's another thing is it cuts off a lot. You have to be really far back if you want to take in a really wide um, picture. Okay. Some cool things about it. I love the fact that this compared to the Kodak, I love that you can um, turn off the sound. You know, for some people it's not a big deal, but for me I can't stand those stupid little like doo -doo 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 sounds when I'm recording. Um, 
I like to be able to turn those off, especially if I'm recording in a place where I don't want people to know that I'm recording. Not necessarily privately, you know, s spying on somebody, but if I'm in a, like a quiet performance, you know, like at a play or something and I want to record something, I don't want to be, I don't want to have, you know, be the person in the back where my things, my camera's chirping away while I'm trying to record. Um, so that's a nice thing. You can actually turn the sounds off on this. If you want the sounds, you can leave them on. It's just part of the setup, which is great. The other thing I love, of course, is the flip, which is one of the big selling points of these things, is the fact that um, a USB plug flips out and you can easily just pop it right into your computer. I absolutely love that. I love that it's HD, of course. Why else would I have this? Um, it's pretty, okay? It's shiny black and it's compact. So, so I really do enjoy the look of this. Now, yes, you can get cameras with more features that are cheaper. And I'm well aware of the fact that when I shelled out the $230 that I shelled out for this thing, most of them, at least $60 of that was strictly for the design and the, and the um, aesthetic of the device. And that's fine with me. Um, I'm okay with that. Some people who might be on more of a budget or who really want to kind of get the be the most for their for their money may want to look at the uh, some of the other competitors, Creative Auto HD, the Kodak ZI6. Um, for me, it works. Um, from now on, all my videos will be on this. If you guys want to see me demonstrate anything with this or if you want to see any part close up or anything like that, please feel free to, to message me. Let me know um, what you want to see. Uh, and I'll be happy to show it to you. I also have a website now. Well, I've had it for a while, but now I'm going to advertise it. It's www.missjose.com. It's M-S-J-O-S-A-Y.com. Okay. Um, take a take a trip over there. Check it out. There's some information about myself. There's also um, some exclusive content over there. So check it out. Um, that's the Flip Mino HD. Leave comments on my videos, rate my videos, um, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more of these. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.